This is Utah Concerts. This is Utah Concerts. This is UtahConcerts.com. Hey, it's Crystal with UtahConcerts.com. I'm here with Scotty McCreary. We saw you um, playing in the After Midnight um, softball game. Yes, do you sir. have um, a past in baseball? Because you were pretty good. Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, I, I didn't think I was that good that game, so thank you. But, uh, you know, I've been playing baseball my whole life and, and uh, played high school ball for, for the Trojans back home. So I definitely grew up with the sport. As for the American Idol tour, can you give us a little insight of what um, ticket holders can expect from that? Yeah, expect a good show with a lot of different genres and a lot of different flavors on music you know you'll, you'll go from reggae and and rock and pop to, to country so it's a lot of different varieties of music and a lot of fun what is um the best concert that you've ever been to as an audience Ooh, member with the best concert yeah you got me on this one uh, i have to say i have to say my very first concert with uh, george george Strait and reva mcintyre it was a lot of fun and they put on a great show, so it sticks in my mind. Is there like a major goal for you that you just you see in the future? You know, when I do that, I've made it. I mean, winning American Idol is pretty damn huge, but yeah. other than that, is there something? There's definitely a lot of uh, dreams and aspirations. You know, I got the chance to play the Opry in, in here in Fan Week, so that was uh, definitely a big goal of mine, and I got to accomplish that. And, you know, hopefully my next goal is just to stay around for a while. I don't want to be here for two years and then fade out. I want to... I want to stay around and be able to do this for the rest of my life. So that's uh, that's the big goal. What's the biggest lesson that you learned from American Idol? Biggest lesson, stay true to yourself and, and nothing can, can go too wrong. Someone could always go wrong, but nothing too, too wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely uh, had opportunities to change it up and, and go different ways with music. You know, I did Gaga when, when she was there and, and uh, had opportunities to sing just different things. And I just figured I'd stay true to country music and stay true to me. So that's what I did. And something that I just wondered with all of the contestants is how do you deal with criticism? Do you even read the reviews or anything? Uh, you know, I'm not doing the, the internet reviews anymore. You learn really early on on American Idol that not everybody out there loves you. So uh, you stay away from that. I mean, you definitely take criticism as it, as it comes, though. And, you know, it's a, it's a good thing. You know, that's how you learn and that's how you get better. How do you think that you grew as a singer from American Idol from the first day to the finale? Uh, I definitely grew a lot. You know, when I was uh, just starting out, I didn't want to venture off more than, you know, five notes. I wanted to stay in my deep register. And uh, as I got going, I, I was screaming up high notes. So uh, I definitely learned a lot and, and grew a lot. And I'm glad I went through it. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to the show. Thank you, Take thank care. You.